With Don't Ask, Don't Tell still the law of the land for the U.S. military, Ray Hill, longtime activist for gay equality, is calling for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender military veterans and active service members to join his contingent in the 2011 Houston Gay Pride Parade. Joining us live in the studio, he's here to lead the charge in his protest of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Thanks for joining us, Ray. You're welcome. Uh, Glad to be in. Okay. I, this is kind of a puzzling assignment for me. Is it? I'm an old pacifist, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I'm also the only old war horse that the queer community has around here. <laughs> so they said, could you muster us up a few troops? And I said, oh, and step lively. Oh. And so I, I have uh, mustered up mostly, I think we got... Uh, a uh, uh, staff lieutenant uh, uh, from the Massachusetts Army National Guard coming down, and she's bringing her companion, who is also in the Massachusetts Army National Guard. Uh, we have some ROTC folks from Excellent. Sam Houston University. Hi, y'all up in Huntsville. Never too young and, to get started. And, uh, well, that will be the first generation right. to serve in the American military without having to look over their shoulders and worrying about this don't stink, don't smell stuff. You see, the fact of the matter is, we did a pretty good job of not telling, but they never stopped asking. So, <laughs> so that never worked. And uh, in your lead up, you said uh, uh, that it is yet to be uh, implemented. Actually, Congress passed the law. The president signed it. It is the law of the land. Now, there is a problem of getting the military ready to absorb the changes, but the repeal of don't ask, don't tell is the law of the land. Now, I'm a person who actually uses the Constitution in, like, my everyday life because mm -hmm. I like sue police officers and go to the Supreme Court what and do wonderful things that <laughs> has has a uh, 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 constitutional implication. And according to the Constitution of the United States, don't ask, don't tell is not the law of the land. So uh, if there's anyone out there listening, I know you can't fit in your uniform <laughs> Nobody can fit back into their uniform. It's a whole different lifestyle. Don't tell me you can't fit in your... Don't have to be in uniform. But I need somebody to carry uh, that flag... Uh, from the uh, Marines and the flag from the Army and the flag from the Navy and the flag from the Coast Guard and the flag from the Air Force. I've got five services and I would like people in those services or veterans of those services to carry those flags. How do they contact you? <clears throat> they just show up. Okay. They just show up tomorrow afternoon before 6 o'clock. We want to be looking good by 6 o'clock. And where do you go? Do you go to Woodhead at Westheimer? Hun, come early because the parking spaces are going to be rare and few between. Yeah, they're already circling the blocks. I can see right. the Right, and out so there. when you get there, come and join us. Uh, 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 by the way, for you guys in prison who are gay and served in the military and you want to be there, well, we've added an additional meeting to the flag for the MIA POW flag. We're carrying that one just for you. That's just perfect, right? That's perfect. All right, so, but if they really do need to get more information, can they still get it at... Uh, the best way to do it, go to the Internet, mm -hmm. go to therayhill.com, email me, I'll answer you right back. I'm going to be hovering over the computer all night and until I have to be at the history tent tomorrow at noon. Are they going to have to walk? I mean, are, will they if be If you're trucks? not able to walk, we got a great big military-looking truck, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, let's see, uh, Lance Corporal David Babb, formerly or usually of the prison show, will be there to drive that. Uh, he's a Marine nice. vet, and he'll drive it, and there'll be a bunch of old vets. That, heaven help it, those people had to walk <laughs> that bird thing. Uh, uh, so the deal is, is that I don't care what condition you're in, uh, thank you for serving. We're yeah. proud of your service. And from now on, your followers in the military service can be out and proud and serve the nation and maybe enjoy some of the freedoms that it was intended to give. Uh, one more thing.
I am the guest host of the prison show on radio station KPFT this night at 9 o'clock. Excellent. Very excellent. Well, we will have a live report of the actual re- um, parade. John Brewer is going to be, uh, yes, yeah. be interviewing you. And let me just Ray confirm Hill. because tomorrow John, I'm going to be there. Ray. You say before 6 o'clock, Woodhead and Westheimer. Well, we're we're actually we're right behind the mayor's unit, so we're right there close. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come look for y'all so like we can do a story guard. for our, our Monday. I sure, love Monday. Glad, glad to have you that. And if you need to find me before that, I will be in the gay history, gay, lesbian, transgendered, and bisexual history tent at the festival because I got to protect that stuff. If that disappears, I will never have existed at all. <laughs> You're living history. We'll look we like to that. See you tomorrow and talking to the military people as That's well. That's right, Ray Hill. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Have a great time tomorrow. We're going to take a break and be right back. Don't go away.